Alright, this is just going to be a real quick tutorial on what to do with when connecting Traxxas knockoff plugs. First thing you want to address, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look right here at the, not, at the real Traxxas, genuine Traxxas plugs, right at this edge here, there's a little taper. And that taper helps when you connect the two pieces together connect your plugs together that taper allows the one tab to slide over the other tab easily when being connected now with the knockoff plugs they're stamped so now I've already worked on this plug I don't know if you could see that or not but Basically, this leading edge here, what you do is you just taper it down with a Dremel or a file so you can get that same effect so that when they plug in together, if you can see this, the backside is awful flat. A lot of times the knockoffs on the front side, the leading edge that's supposed to plug in, will be flat like that also. So you put that taper on there, and it, it's smooth sailing. Plugs in nice and smooth every time. So once you got that leading edge tapered, then you can start to solder and put your connectors together. Okay. Now, when I'm soldering, I like to use a little trick. Of course, you always want... nice good surface on your soldering iron tin it I like to tin and flick get that mess out of my way so it's not too much especially with the traction plugs knock off or not you really don't have room to put a whole lot of anything on there what I like to do is I like to take just a very thin piece of solder there just a, and just put it across there no excess wipe off the tip of my iron just put it on there and just boom and it doesn't doesn't take doesn't cover the now I, I never want never want to go past those those lines on there but I'll put it on there and I'll just slide the iron off. If it takes two or three times to get decent coverage, that's fine by me. It keeps me from going overboard with it. And I'll rub the iron in there until I get it just enough coverage. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's just tinned on the end there. It doesn't even cover the whole thing. But that's just so that when... I take my pre-soldered wire, pre-tinned wire, and I put it on there. That can flow real nice. Okay. Now I'm a righty, so I'm going to go this way. But then, I'll just take my wire, I'll hold it down on there, trying to keep it center. And I'll hold my vice grips down with the end of my palm here. And I'll just put right up. You want that the end of the silicone to be right on the edge of that tab and you want the end of the wire not to come up to these little wings hanging off the side so that's just a perfect size right there and then I'll just put a flat piece of my iron on there let it melt all that solder all that pre tin solder on there Okay, and once they flow together, you'll see it flow together, then that should be plenty of heat. You pull your iron off. Done. And once that's all said and done, you're pretty much good to go. That was a little bit more than I wanted on there. I probably should have taken a little bit of solder off the wire, but this is only for demonstration purposes, so that's fine. I'm not going to use this.
now. Let's take that. And this is the female. You'll see right here. It says A. I don't know if you can see it. It says A right in the middle there. And this says A on the other side where I just soldered over. And this rounded edge always goes. Well, you'll see. The oval the wire goes towards the, the oval side. And then you just pop it in there. If it lets you. There you go. And just pop it in until it snaps. If you have to, you use a little screwdriver or something with a small flathead that fits in the hole. And just push that bad boy down until it snaps in place. It may be a hard snap where you can hear it. It may be a gentle snap where you can't. That was a gentle snap that time. But pretty simple, easy, straightforward. Make sure you don't have too much solder, no globs of solder on the wire. You almost want to see the grain in the wire. Like, I don't know if you can see that. You almost want to see the grain in the wire. That way you know too much of that solder won't just flow and cover up that, that, uh, the wings on the tab that snap in place. And that's it. Pretty simple. And make sure you, and if you look in there, you might be able to see that leading ed edge is tapered just so much. Just enough that the taper goes down below this point right here. That way, when you plug it in, nice and simple, straightforward, no hassles. There you go. And that's Traxxas and Traxxas Knockoff 101. Done. Have a nice day.